So over the course of time, we actually blogged about this in 2015 and we're really excited about like this, I'm gonna put it in quotes, of course, air quotes, exercise in a pill type of supplement. Welcome to Price Plow. What's going on Price Plow Nation? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow here. And for a few months, I have had quite a supply that is now diminishing of NMB Nutrition's Myoburn, which is the trademark name for their L-Beba supplement ingredient. Now we have a video talking a lot about the science with Sean Wells, where we go over a lot of the different research studies and a lot of the cool stuff that we know about Beba. The fact of the matter is that a lot of that research is rat based. So I've been making myself uh, the next level lab rat by using this quite a bit and now I am down on my supply and ready to give pretty much what is my Mitoburn review or my El Beba review. So over the course of time, we actually blogged about this in 2015 and we're really excited about like this, I'm gonna put it in quotes of course, air quotes, exercise in a pill type of supplement. Now of course, outside of diet, there is nothing more important than exercise for overall health. You can lose weight without exercise. But the diet lever I think is the most important and then after that comes exercise. Problem is that a lot of people can't exercise and that, that was kind of me for a little bit over here too and I was us utilizing this in that aspect but a lot of people are so overweight or so sick or so, or so injured that they can't exercise and we'll kind of try to take anything we can to help augment a low level of exercise or augment no exercise. So what happens, uh, and, and this really kicked off in 2014, this ingredient has been known about for uh, quite a while, since like the 1950s it was discovered in urine, and it's beta amino isobutyric acid. However, it is a 2014 landmark study that kind of showed that when they were exercising rats, that the, um, the plasma levels of this stuff were just skyrocketing. And the more and more research they started doing, they realized that this is actually a signal so you know, your body has to communicate in, in different ways. Things just don't just magically happen. Like you, there is a communication mechanism and it's typically a chemical communication. This is a chemical that is, uh, that is a metabolite of the amino acid valine. So we see that in a lot of these like, branch chain amino acid supplements and stuff. There's a good dose of valine in here when your body, and we never really knew what valine did. And so um, for instance, there's uh, 750 milligrams of valine in each two scoop dose of this. And we never fully like knew what valine was really, really doing when we were like blogging about it. There's a lot of great research. And I think that this is the main mechanism for it. But when we break down the valine, you get this l -beba. And l -beba is used as a signal to the other parts of the body saying, hey, we are exercising. I need this, 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 and this to be done. Most, uh, most likely like a fat burning mechanism, or I need to kick up a few ketones, or we need to uh, protect uh, muscle and bone tissue and kick off these mechanisms. And it's really a signal that starts another process. So of course the researchers are like, well, that's, that's really cool. They notice it's happening. What happens if we start supplementing the rats with a ton of this stuff just exogenously? And do, will they you know, be able to have those same types of effects? And the answer is yes, actually. You're starting to get exercise-like effects when supplementing with this metabolite of an amino acid. Now, there's, we have a lot of, and since we started blogging about this, we've learned a lot more about the, uh, uh, about the molecule. It's that there's a, a, you know, a right and a left-handed molecule. We're talking about the left-handed one, which is L-beba, and that comes from valine. There is also the R-beba that comes from thymine. They're both found in plants as well, so there's a, I'm very confident that this is a dietary, legal dietary ingredient, given that it's an amino acid and it's a metabolite of amino acid. So we cover a lot of different bases in Deshea. Uh, which is the prevailing law of the land, defining what is the supplement. But overall, uh, when we start supplementing this, you see that the rats are getting a whole lot of different types of metabolic benefits, including preventing muscle and bone wasting when they weren't allowed to exercise. And I think that that kind of states that we're kind of finding a way to like kind of hack the body and trick it into thinking that it's exercising a little bit more. So maybe you might want to burn a little bit more fat, or maybe you want to bump up the uh, the brown fat production and brown fat is kind of like the energy user whereas white fat is the energy uh, the energy storer and I know that's not a word so uh, long story short is I started using it myself and I was like well can I notice anything and the first part of the review is right off the bat when I started doing a uh, warm-up cardio I noticed that my heart rate was a little bit elevated more than usual. And I'm not saying like to dangerous levels, but when I get going, like I kind of hit like levels of heart rate. 
And my first, like my warm up heart rate, get, I get it to about 135, and I wear the, the polar chest strap. I don't do none of that wrist stuff. Uh, I wear it right on the heart and everything. And once I'm getting going, I have a nice little heart rate of 135. I noticed, like, I got there like a minute earlier. Like, things were just like kind of just moving quicker. And then I was able to kind of kick it up to the next level, to like the 160s, just a little bit quicker too. So I typically, uh, I, I realized that I really enjoyed using this supplement and any supplement that has it, because I've started to beta test a few that might be coming out from other brands, and we'll have a link below in the description on YouTube, uh, which will eventually link to those products that are coming out with this ingredient. And as a full disclosure, obviously this was, this was actually sent for free, of course, and we do have some promotional content happening with NMB Nutrition, which is the company that is creating El Beba. We've been excited because, we blog, like I said, we blogged about it in 2014, but we never really, there was never like a really high quality supplier of the El Beba form. And uh, NMB Nutrition is this uh, material supplier who's been doing incredible things. We asked for lab tests, we get them. And like everyone who's audited their facility or talked to them has been blown away by them. And the fact that Sean Wells is their chief science officer states really highly to the, uh, to the, to the, the quality of the company. Because I, I trust Sean, he's a really close friend. And I really, really believe in what Sean is doing over there. So really excited about all that. So back to the story though, the, the review of things is that I noticed that my cardio is just like kind of kicked up and I, the best, the best way I could like summarize this review in like three words is that it gives me an extra half a gear. Like I'm not saying like it gives me a ton of like, it's not like a stimulant. It's not like drinking, like you get an extra gear from having 200 milligrams of caffeine. I don't get that, but I get something a little bit more extra. I get like a half a gear, and I feel like just looser. Like the, the warm up is, takes a little bit less time to do, and I feel like my shoulders, like when I'm like, if I'm like on the elliptical machine, I feel like my shoulders are just kind of like loosening up quicker when I have this. It's really interesting. I also feel slightly, slightly a little bit more thermogenic when I'm using it as well. Now, I will also state that I tried a few times. There's one rat study where they showed giving, that, giving the, um, the L-beba to the mice increased their amount of beta-hydroxybutyrate or the, the ketone uh, body that is produced when you're like on a keto diet. It produced a lot more BHB for these mice. Well, I started doing some monster doses of this. I typically like this at 500 milligrams in a shot. That's where I start noticing that loosening effect, that slightly elevated heart rate effect. So twice a day at 500 milligrams is kind of where I stand. Well, I went up to like 1.5 uh, grams of it, and I want to see it. I tested ketones, there was no change. So maybe it went up just a touch, but like it wasn't enough of a change to actually uh, induce like some sort of monster. Like if you drink BHB, you're gonna get a ketone bump. It wasn't like that. But some of the studies show that this is a very pro-ketogenic molecule. I didn't really have that effect, so I'm gonna be honest with you there. I'm, I still think it'd be great in a, in a keto or a fasting style supplement, but at the same time, don't expect to, like, to get like your blood sugar to tank and your ketones to go up and you're all of a sudden in this magical fairyland of ketosis. It's not how it's gonna work. But at the same time, half a gear. Every time I use this, half a gear better. And so over the course of me using this, I actually hurt my neck and uh, it was during Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it hurt my neck and my, my right arm is just weak right now. Like my, the nerve got pinched and I, it basically gave like a half a signal. It's like someone stepped on a hose and I'm not getting enough water. And so it's been a very difficult, like I'm sitting here, like literally, this is embarrassing to say, I'm doing like three pound tries of kickbacks. It's like terrible. One thing that's helped me throughout this whole process is I've been using El Beba to kind of just like make my crappy cardio a little bit less crappy. And I almost like um, feel like I'm a person who I am injured or a person who's just like, too overweight to, to be able to work out hard, because I do love to work out hard. When I use this, I'm able to kick things up just a little bit more, and that's really what I've needed over this, because once I get going, then the shoulder starts feeling better, and I can like start moving a little bit quicker, and it really helps me like just loosen up. But at the same time, I have not been able to go full steam, and as someone who loves high-intensity interval training, which I didn't really ever do much of with this ingredient, whether I was healthy or not, someone who likes high-intensity interval training, I, um, I miss that feeling and I get a little bit, just a little bit of it back with low intensity, steady state cardio when using Beba. So I know it's like kind of an expensive ingredient and it's gonna be in probably like more specialty products, but I do think that people who are like really into fasting should check it out. People who are injured, who wanna like kind of stay fit and lean could possibly check it out. People who are, I, I think like the aging demographic, I think there's gonna be some like 
and then don't like quote me as a study on this, but I think there's gonna be like some anti osteoporosis style effects to come from this in that in that in that sector, like the anti aging side of things, because it's a pro. It's like a it's like an exercise. Uh, pro exercise molecule and exercise is always healthy to do as long as we possibly can do it And if you can't do it, then I think that this is something that's worth at least trying I'm not gonna like give it you know any of this miracle nonsense or anything But I think this is it's just a half a gear more so you're gonna start seeing it in some specialty products And I do, I do think you should check it out. You might feel a little bit heated. You might notice slightly elevated heart rate I don't think it's gonna do anything scary because I've taken some pretty crazy doses and nothing like insane has happened uh, But at the same time I couldn't be like more excited about El Beba. This is the first ingredient that really caught our attention with NMB Nutrition. Then it turned out that they had this GlucoVantage, uh, which was their dihydroberberine glucose disposal agent. Now that's the ingredient. If you're gonna try one ingredient from NMB, I'll be honest, it's not this one, it's actually that one. It's GlucoVantage. But this whole company, they're bringing together some really, really, really cool stuff. And this is one that we've wanted on the market for like five years now at this point, and it's finally here, finally gonna be in some products, and I'm definitely super excited to have it. Don't expect it to like make your world change upside down or anything like that. But if you're looking for like a cardio igniter style supplement with just like a half a gear more, that's exactly where I'm putting Beba. And I'm really excited about a lot of the research that's gonna come from it. We're just gonna do our best to keep the, the blog post at pricelot.com slash supplement dash research slash Beba. We're gonna keep that uh, as up to date as we can because there was a new study published in 2020 talking about some of the, um, some of the, the bone positive effects from it. So all these things that, that we know exercise are great for, well, there's a chance we can get a slight smidge of that effect from a supplement as well. But again, if you can exercise, you gotta exercise. You just give it a little bit of amp. And maybe if you're trying to wean off some stimulants, this can give you just, you know, like I said, a little bit of half a gear. So we'll have links on the YouTube video to the actual, uh, to the Mitoburn article, and then the updated Beba article, which have all the new research. We're gonna add that 2020 research as well, because uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. It's all still rat research. So I did use myself as a little bit of a lab rat here, but the LD, they, they weren't able to find an LD50 on this, is what we've uh, discovered since we last made the video. Uh, they, they NMB Nutrition paid a third party to, to basically give the attack doses, like for two weeks to rats. No problems. The ones that were given the way high doses, they did lose a lot of weight though. So there is something to this stuff, but at the doses that we're talking about, really, I'm just noticing like a nice little uptick in thermogenesis, nice little uptick in loosening, and a nice little uptick in that heart rate. And that's kind of my beta review. Really excited about this molecule, and I think eventually, uh, a lot of people in the keto and the fasting uh, communities are gonna give this a shot and be like, oh, that's something pretty interesting. I also did notice one thing. When using a fasting, I'm able to make my fast go a little bit longer without caring about eating just a little bit longer. But once I like kind of come back from that workout, I am hungry. So it's just like exercising that way. So anyway, my name is Mike. This is kind of my beta review. Overall, half a gear. If you're looking for it, then hopefully uh, check out our blog post and we're gonna keep you up to date on all the products that have it. Nothing out as I speak right now on February 14th of 2020, but hopefully very soon we'll have something out there for you. Thanks. Welcome to Price File.